Hello everyone, and welcome to Galaxy 89 Cars. Today I'm bringing you an in-depth tour of a 2017 Seat Ibiza Cupra Black. Before we get started, I'd like to thank SMC Seat for the opportunity. Getting close to its 20 year anniversary, the Ibiza Cupra has recently had a facelift both inside and out and features a new engine. The black version gets red brake calipers, black wheels, a larger internal screen with gloss black wing mirrors and darker tinted rear windows. This new model, seen here in Nevada white, which is one of five colours to choose from, features a 1.8 litre turbo TSI petrol engine, up from the previous 1.4 litre turbo, and being part of the VW group, it's shared with the Polo GTI. It produces 189 brake horsepower and 236 pounds feet, or 320 newton meters of torque, up 12 brake horsepower and 52 pounds feet on the previous model. Tied in with a one kilogram overall weight loss, this leaves the car's curb weight at 1260 kilograms. The output results in a 0 to 62 mile per hour or 100 km per hour time of 6.7 seconds with a top speed of 146 miles per hour and a top fuel economy of 46 miles to the gallon. At the rear, two small exhaust tips protrude from the trapezoid or surround. Let's see how it sounds, first in normal and then sport to see if any difference is made. The black comes with 17-inch black Barcino alloy wheels, front and back, with McPherson front suspension. The front-wheel drive Cupra has an electronic XDS differential system that imitates a mechanical system by using the front brakes to limit wheel spin. Brakes have also been upgraded to handle the extra power. 310mm ventilated discs are now seen at the front as opposed to the original 288mm. The smooth Ibiza mirrors the mixture of smooth lines and sharp angles found on its big brother, the Leon. Four distinctive intakes underline the main grille, with the Seat Performance logo. At each side there are bi-xenon headlights, which come as standard, with angular LED day running lights creating a perimeter. Sweeping lines start at the bonnet and run down the sides and wing mirrors. Behind, the small rear windows are tinted, with a thin rear wing and integrated brake light extending from the top of the car. The car's performance insignia, Cupra, sits centrally between the angular brake lights. Below is a small diffuser with cutaways on each side of the rear bumper, which create a more sporty aesthetic, but probably offer no performance benefit. The key is basic Seat, with a small logo on one side, the physical key centrally, and buttons to lock, unlock, and open the boot, in addition to a small mechanism to flip the key out. The door feels easy to pull out, with the handle opening in the usual way. This car is specced with the standard sunny interior pack, which adds white highlights along the side of the seats and thicker pattern material, as opposed to optional part Alcantara. Accessing the cabin is very straightforward, as this car is essentially based on a standard hatchback. I'll now take you on a POV tour of the interior before going into more detail.
In more detail, let's start with the doors. The Sunny upholstery pack includes the white material stripe that runs from back to front. There is a simple door release with exterior mirror controls to the end, with an integrated armrest and door handle with window controls below. Sweeping lines from the exterior continue inside and lead us from the top of the door down to the storage compartment and speaker. Moving inside, we see a small storage area and Ibiza inscribed on the side. The exterior light controls and first floor air vents are above. These are manipulated by depressing the slats and directing appropriately. Movement did, however, feel quite limited. Now sitting in the driver's seat, we can take a look at the multifunctional wheel. Here, it's upholstered in black leather with white contrast stitching. The buttons on the left are for the multimedia and talk functions, and on the right, the trip options. The driver's display ahead features the rev counter to the left with temperatures, a central screen, and speedo and fuel to the right. Here is a short clip of the dial start sequence in normal mode. The screen here can be used to select call options, vehicle status, the lap timer, driving data, which is the trip itself, navigation and audio media functions. Previously unseen, this new Cupra offers drive profiles, seen here on the driver's display. There are two driving profiles, normal profile and sport profile. Pressing sport creates a sharpened steering and firmer damper feel. As this is the black model, there is a larger 6.5 inch central screen over the standard 5 inch. This guy has a focus on integration, therefore Say It Drive app allows the user to connect their Android or Apple phone to the car's infotainment system. Similar functions can be controlled and personalised here, but now in more depth. Radio, media, phone and voice are all logically grouped together on the left hand side. With nav, traffic, car and menu on the right, once again logically grouped. The screen can be controlled using the jump to buttons, knob to the right or by touching and pressing the screen itself. As shown here, it's quite responsive. In the car option, there is also a screen specifically created to teach economical driving, which shouldn't be hard in this car. Directly below the screen is a CD player, followed by ventilation and air conditioning controls. And finally, the sport mode button and hazard lights. Moving away from the display and into the central column, the first thing we see is a 12 volt socket and small storage area, followed by two cup holders and buttons for internal lock, unlock, rear window demist and start stop. As opposed to the Leon Cupra, the new Ibiza Cupra is only offered with a six-speed manual gearbox. As previously mentioned, its sport seats feature the white stripe as part of the sunny upholstery pack. An Alcantara pack is optional. I found them to be quite comfortable. They are manually adjusted, using the levers to the side for tilt and extend, and another under to slide forward or back. Let's take a look at the rear. The front seats can be manually moved forward using the lever. With the driver's seat pushed back to a comfortable driving position, there was just enough room in the rear, although I can imagine it being uncomfortable in long journeys for adults of average size. At least passengers on each side get some kind of an armrest in the form of a cutaway. Above, a ridge runs along the inside of the cabin. 
Let's have a look at the remaining interior storage options. There is a small, solitary cup holder for the rear passengers. In the front, relatively well-sized glove compartment. The boot is accessed by pressing up on the Say It logo at the rear. Space at the back stands at 292 litres, which can be improved upon by folding the rear seats down. Moving back inside, we can take a quick look at the reading lights and sun visors with vanity mirrors. So that concludes my tour of this 2017 Seat Ibiza Cupra. Thanks again to SMC Seat for the opportunity. Please subscribe for the latest content, and until next time, cheers.